Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Kitku that Opera Ghost Tycoon 2. Now, in this uh, episode, I will show you a really cool trick. Um, so, if you've uh, seen the scenario coaster improvement contest some time ago, you may have seen this ride here that was built by uh, Robbie Hood. And as you can see here, he actually made his uh, ghost train drive backwards on the track. Now, uh, doing this is actually uh, much easier than, uh, than you would think. And it requires the usage of uh, shuttle mode. Now, um, I will now just open a new map and uh, I will show you some uh, peculiarities of uh, shuttle mode and how you can use it to reverse your uh, powered vehicles. All right, here I've uh, set up a little test map. Now, if, you, if you're not familiar with shuttle mode, it's a mode that's normally available for uh, monorails. I believe it's also available for uh, trains. Uh, basically what shuttle mode does is, uh, let me make the train white so it's easier to see. Uh, basically when it's in shuttle mode you have to have two stations and the train will go to the, well the train will basically drive forwards until it finds the end of the track and then it will simply uh, go backwards. So you can see that here the the end of the line is immediately in the station, so it uh, returns in the station. But um, if we extend the track forward a bit here, and we could do the same here on the back, then you will see that the train drives forward until it finds the end of the track here, and then it goes backwards again. And here it stops at the station again, and now it will keep going backwards. Um, it will stop here at the station, and so uh, it will keep going backwards until it finds the end of the track again, and then it goes uh, forwards again. Now there's uh, something really interesting about this uh, shuttle mode, and that's that um, you can actually also use other vehicles for this. So. Uh, Basically, it works with all the vehicles that are powered. Um, for example, well, what do I mean with powered? With powered, I mean vehicles that uh, just move forwards without uh, there being a chain lift on the track or um, or boosters or uh, or uh, I know they also don't require any hills or anything. So, for example, let's take the ghost train here. I uh, will speed it up a bit. But yeah, the ghost train now simply moves forwards until it finds the end of the track. And then it uh, just keeps moving backwards. It will stop here in the station and then now it will keep going backwards uh, until it finds the end of the track. And uh, another vehicle you can use this uh, with, which makes it uh, really useful, is uh, to use it for a powered mine train. So since this is also a powered ride, here it will simply move forward till it finds the end of the track and then it reverses again. So this is really useful if you want to make a switchback coaster using a, a powered uh, mine train. So you can actually just use this, uh, this coaster type for that in the shuttle mode. Now of course you cannot use uh, block brakes in this mode because it's not block brake mode, it is uh, shuttle mode. So you'll have to take that uh, into account. Uh, now, what? Uh, how do you use this ride in a, in a useful way? Well, first of all, um, let me just change the track type. So let's see, the mine train coaster. So now it actually has a track that uh, would look suitable for this, uh, for a coaster like this. Something like this. I think that looks uh, that looks nice. Now, uh, of course, this layout isn't very uh, exciting. Now, first of all, uh, when you make a layout for this coaster, you always have to have two stations. If you want to use this for a so sort of realistic coaster, so um, you can either just uh, remove the exit from one of the stations. So guests that arrive here will not get out at this station. Um, 
or you could make an exit only station here an entrance only station here that's really uh, up to you how you do that now of course this layout like i said wasn't very exciting um, i'll make a sl slight incline here so it uh, gives the coaster actually a reason to roll back and you can just simply uh, remove a track piece here and let's make an uh, s-band here I'll have to disable clearance checks and here we'll merge the tracks again and we'll complete the track here as well and for this track piece I'll make sure I'll make sure that when it goes backwards again it follows the s-band so to do that the S band track actually has to be lower in the order in Tau Inspector. So I just selected this lower track piece and I moved it up a bit, and I can see that it's a piece with a bit of a curve. So I'm sure that's the S band. So now when the coaster goes backwards, it will follow the S band track. Um, when we go fo forwards again, we want it to enter the station here. So let's just uh, find the straight piece. Oh, we have the straight piece here. We don't want it to follow the S band again. We want it to uh, go straight ahead. So if we test the right now, it should now go forwards until it reaches the end of this incline. Here it now goes backwards, follows the S band. And here at the back of the incline, it uh, goes forwards again. Now it will uh, pass through this station and the guests would get out here. But like I said earlier, uh, you can uh, play around with the stations a bit. Now Robbie Hood also told me that uh, if you want the train to stop somewhere along the track, you can simply build another station, uh, but with an entrance only. So that makes up for the fact that you cannot use uh, block brakes. By putting a station in the track somewhere with an entrance only, the guests will simply stay in the train and the train will stop somewhere momentarily. Might be uh, nice if you have a scene along the track somewhere. So this uh, this also goes for any other vehicles you use with this uh, ride. So some examples of vehicles you can use. Um, let's check here. Uh, so yeah, I showed you for the we had the monorails. But uh, you can also use, uh, if you can even use go-karts, uh, ghost trains, probably even the chairlift cars. Um, any cars from the, from one of the car rides or the monster trucks. There's uh, lots of options, but basically any uh, vehicle that uh, moves on its uh, own without uh, needing to use gravity or, uh, or chain lifts. No, you could make this uh, track much more uh, exciting. Um, for example, let's just do uh, something like this. I don't know. This is just a really silly example. So let's do something like this. And here we here we just complete the track again. So yeah, the, uh, you can really uh, make this as crazy uh, as you want. Now, um, something else uh, you can do, since uh, the train will simply keep going backwards until it reaches uh, the end of the track, you can actually make multiple uh, sections where the train goes uh, forwards and backwards again. So just going to quickly delete this track just to show off what I mean by that. So. Um, we can make an, uh, another spike here. It doesn't even have to be a spike, but uh, I'll just do this. And for example, here we could make an S band again. So now the train will here will keep going on until it uh, reaches the end of the track in the forward section again. And then while it goes backwards, we can again split it off if we want. Now, of course, for all of these merges, we have to make sure that the right uh, track piece is uh, on the bottom. So here we want it to follow the S band. So we uh, put the curved piece on the, on the bottom there. Here we'll also need the curved piece on the bottom. 
All right. And this one should still be okay. So now let's just uh, quickly follow the train in action. I'll speed it up a little bit. So here it reaches the end of the track. And here it follows the S-band. Now it finds the front of the track again. And this one's still uh, all right. Now, of course, it will uh, slam into the this front section quite fast. You could uh, put in some uh, brakes in the track to make it uh, seem a little bit more uh, natural. So uh, let's quickly do that. Let's put some uh, brakes. I believe the brakes also work backwards, so I'm not really sure if this is the best way to do it, but uh, you could also hide the ends of the track uh, in a building or, or uh, something. It's really up to you to, uh, to do something nice with this. Oops, let's do it at normal speed so you can actually see what's going on here. So here it uh, slows down because of the brakes. And on the way back, it also uh, gradually speeds up again. Here again, I put some brakes. Now it does this section quite slowly. So yeah, th I think this is definitely something fun to uh, play around with. Alright, um, that was it for this tutorial. I hope it's useful for you. Maybe it will be useful in the switchback contest. Uh, which is uh, going on at the moment that this video is uh, released. Um, who knows? Uh, I'm quite eager to see what uh, you all will uh, create with this uh, method. Now, of course, uh, my uh, the credits for this uh, for this method well they go to uh, Robbie Hood. Well, some people before him might have discovered it, but uh, he actually uh, taught me how to do, uh, how to do this. And it's a really nice trick. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can really make uh, great stuff with this. All right. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And uh, I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later. Thank you.